Well, I'm back in the urban environment. I'm back in a city, a capital city. But guess what? It's not London. Well, I'm in Edinburgh and I'm kind of doing a Scottish double bill. I'm shooting Edinburgh today in this evening and then I'm doing Glasgow tomorrow. And I'm kind of revisiting the shoot that I did a few years ago uh, when I came to both cities, got some really great results, had some really great conditions. This trip's not looking so good. There's a lot more cloud planned. So I may mix in some of these shots I did on the previous visit for some of the shots I do manage to get this time. But the shots I do here and in Glasgow are going to be aimed more towards the evening time, night time shots. So as long as it doesn't rain, I should get something at least. Well, I'm up on Carlton Hill, the famous viewpoint looking over the city of Edinburgh. You've got the Dougald Stewart monument there in the foreground. Is it Dougald or Dougald? <laughs> One of the two. Uh, Edinburgh Castle in the background with the rooftops and the famous clock tower of the uh, Balmoral Hotel. But it's dull, it's miserable, it's cloudy, there's rain just passed through. Total contrast to what I had last time. I had some beautiful light up here, cast in soft light across the top of the rooftops late afternoon I'll throw up some images of what I did get last time just as you can see just how beautiful this view can be but I'm just not going to get the shot this evening The only thing to wait for now is for the, the lights to come on, get a little bit of blue in the sky from twilight, and hopefully if the rain stays off, I can at least get some night shots from up here. That's my saving grace up here. Now, if you look over there, you'll see the, uh, the famous hilltop there of um, Arthur's Seat and Salisbury Crag, another great view over the city. Now, the plan was to go up there in the morning, get the morning light, um, to get a different viewpoint and a different light, but again, there's rain forecast for the morning, so I really don't think it's going to be worth going up there. So I haven't actually done that one before, so I was hoping to get that done on this occasion, but no, it's not going to happen. So uh, it's just going to be hoping to get this nice shot here instead. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Well, this is a view looking down Princess Street with the Belmoral Hotel clock tower. The hopeful view for this evening's shop. Well, it's officially sunset now. So just waiting for those lights to come on. Well, 
My second shot up here sees me using the monument in the foreground as a silhouette. It's not floodlit at all, so it just shows up as a, an outline against the sky. And you've got the clock tower behind and then the castle. So, again, nothing original. These are classic views, but they're classic views for a reason. Well, from here, I was going to head down into the town centre. There was a modern bridge over the road that I wanted to photograph. It looked fantastic at night. But I had a look early on, and it's actually been demolished. So, bang goes that idea. So instead, I've got some alleyways to visit. So all around Edinburgh, these, these uh, lovely alleyways that lead from the upper streets to lower streets. I think they're particularly in between Royal Mile and Market Street. Long steps all the way down, but they've got these beautiful ornamental lights, street lamps um, all the way down. I saw the potential of them during the day, but they look quite ordinary during the day, nothing special. But at night, you get those uh, bright lit areas with the deep shadows elsewhere, and it looks fantastic for a photograph. Now, I'm breaking convention here. I left the tripod back at the hotel now, and I was actually going to shoot these handheld. Uh, still quite busy here, so um, I don't want to get a tripod in the way. So I'm just going to shoot handheld, put the ISO up to around 800 or 1000, shoot with the lens wide open, f2.8 on this zoom lens that I've got. So I'm just going to wander around and see if I can get some really atmospheric shots here. Look at these, aren't they amazing? Now, most of the time I'm underexposing up to around the stop because I really want to capture the atmosphere of the shadows. I don't want the camera to expose for them. Just go for the highlights. So around a stop underexposure has given me the perfect exposure. These are fantastic. This one, not so good perhaps.
Well, viewpoints and alleyways pretty much sums up my shoot in Edinburgh this evening. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see you on my next night shoot in Glasgow.